What's up, guys? It's Brad at Yamaha Marine Center in Owens Park on Wells Road, across the street from Adam at Carly. Today, I've been waiting to get on this boat for a while. We've been busy selling a lot of boats. So, we just got this in probably a week ago. We've been selling so many boats, I haven't had time to come walk around this one yet. It is a 2021 Regulator 26XO. Uh, it is Regulator's newest series. They came out with a boat about two years ago. Uh, Miami, actually, of 2019 is when they released it. And they came out with a 24 this year, which we've already sold out of. And I think we're only getting one more for the entire 2021 model year. Uh, great boats. It, uh, they call them X-Over for crossover, or it's a hybrid bay boat center console. Um, you can kind of see the 25 next door to it, which is uh, dimensionally pretty close uh, the 26XO is actually 26 feet 9 inches in total length, and then the 25, I believe, is right at 30 feet, uh, which that's a little deceiving because the 25 has an Armstrong bracket and engines and all that good stuff, which is why they call it a 25, uh, but overall, it's it's a big boat. Um, the hybrid comes in kind of in the dead rise of the boat, so you can see the entry on the 26XO is pretty mild, relatively speaking, to a uh, traditional regulator which again on the 25 you can kind of compare and contrast yourselves and see how steep the entry is on that boat as far as the degree coming in right sorry about the middle finger right there and then this one looks a little more round a little flatter uh, gives it a little bit less draft you can see the lifting strikes on this boat are pretty aggressive because uh, they want it to get up and run in, in, in the skinniest water possible. Even though it's a, a heavy boat, I mean, this thing dry uh, with the 425 that's on it is 7,270 pounds. So for, quote-unquote, a bay boat, it's it's big, it's heavy. Um, 107 gallons of fuel plus water, all that good stuff. Uh, this is going to be you know pretty dang close to a 9,000-pound boat almost once it's fully dressed and ready to go. But, yeah, 26 feet 9 inches. Uh, beam is nine foot three inches, so it can maintain that pretty aggressive flare that the uh, regulators are used. So I'll try to kind of get it in the photo there, so you can see how much it overhangs. But uh, it's it's pretty impressive to see in person. To me, this crossover, where like the Crevel brand we carry, is more of a, a bay boat with high gunnels. The regulator is kind of like a center console with low gunnels. Uh, but you can see again that aggressive reverse shine running the length of the boat and those big lifting strakes with the flare so it, i went out running this boat i've only run it with a 300 on it which was a little sluggish the plane but it, it does well when it's up and running but with this 425 uh i haven't had a chance to see try this one yet because the first two we got we sold right away and uh i wasn't on the boat when they were out running it so we need to post a sea trial here soon we'll get this one out in the water that way you can see the performance differences. Um, but the width of the boat allows it to float pretty skinny. Um, I think they post the draft on this one, if I can find it, with the 425 at about 20 inches. So being heavy, you know, it still sits in the water pretty low, but the wide beam gives it a pretty decent draft. You can see that tunnel built in there. So you can get this 425 jacked way up on this Bob's machine jack plate which is custom made for this boat because the weight of the 425s which is almost a thousand pounds just an engine um you can get it jacked way up and still bite some clean water there without having to have a bracket like on the traditional regulators that armstrong so it's a transom mount with a giant splash well in it you can see there this nice big swim platform with an integrated ladder uh, integrated trim tabs in the hull uh, that huge engine hanging off the back, which is gorgeous, has that Yamaha three-stage pearlescent paint. A big, I think it's five and a quarter inch gear case on this thing, so it's spinning a huge prop. I mean, big, 16 and 3 eighths, 20 pitch, specific prop just for the, uh, for the Yamaha XTOs. But coming into the boat, getting on it isn't the easiest thing on the planet even from the swim platform it's a pretty decent step um i don't know 18 inches or so like i said that big splash well down there um these aft storage compartments 
actually come into underneath the seats too. So I don't know if you can see huge box and then again it kind of goes all the way under the, to the front of the seat so it's a lot of storage in here. Then lift up decent seat nice high backs so even though the gunnels are pretty low on this boat you still feel like you're tucked into the boat and then access to that storage area underneath it's pretty decent getting things in and out uh, the upholstery is the same upholstery they've been using for the uh, last couple of years model years it's a sill leather I believe or sill skin I don't remember what brand or what the model designation is and then as you push that back the seat locks down but the the sill leather is supposed to be ex extremely resistant to heat and staining so you don't get that pinking and stuff so they can actually start to use whites again uh, this is one of my favorite features of the boat this is how you can tell they thought it out really well is the access to the bilge it is huge you can climb down in there get to all your pumps Get your through holes, seacocks. Uh, that's right there. It's actually a vent. And when they first started running the boat, they noticed the hole was sucking uh, to the surface, so they put that vent in there. The vents up in the splash hole here uh, to get it to kind of release and run better. But in traditional regulator fashion, everything's nice and tucked up in there, nice and tight, easy to get to easy to maintain if you need change pumps and stuff like that filters uh, this is another seat right here in the middle it's about a seat and a half and then the seat on the outside so I mean you could sit three people abreast here and then that's the same storage as on the starboard side that I showed you it goes all the way from this seat to the back so you can put some big fenders or, or anything really in there uh, the helm seat is really nice as well. Got all these covers on it. Sorry. I meant to take them off earlier, but as you can tell, it's probably about the rain. Uh, same sill leather. Uh, it has integrated armrests in it, so they're not fold down. And then fold down bolsters. So you can have it as a seat with the fold down footrest there. And then pop them up for a leaning post. And then over here we got some tackle storage nice big live well right here so <clears throat> a couple of the other Florida dealers and we've been talking and I think we might even be able to plumb one of these boxes back here as a live well it's just no matter the water slosh around underneath that seat because a lot of people in Florida fish multiple live baits so it'd be nice to have another live well if you're running different baits in the same day but this live well is pretty big I don't remember how big it is I think it says it in my handy book. Um, gunnel height. They might list that in the book too. Because it is pretty low. But when the boat's running, it feels like they're almost like their old 26 center console. But then the gunnel height, again, is, is lower for, for more of that bay style. So you can really reach down to the water and get done what you need to get done freshwater tanks 20 gallons 32 gallon live well you got a macerated fish box up front i don't know if anybody wants to screenshot that if i can get it to zoom in this is the product information guide from regulator where we cheat to get all our information because we can't remember all of it Performance data is pretty good with 26XO. Again, see if I can get the camera to focus. Focus. There we go. So you can see top speed with a 425. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. It's 55 miles an hour. Uh, decent fuel economy. About two miles a gallon at 33 miles an hour. So, good running boat. Not a rocket ship by any means, but that big prop is nice and torquey. And this is one of the things that I'm most excited about on this guy. And, oh, the integrated windshield. Started doing that as well. Put the vent in there finally on the 26XO. But nice 
high quality powder coating, the hard top being integrated into the console now so the legs don't run all the way to the side of the console give you a lot better uh, I don't know, access around the console so you're not kicking those stupid support posts. Uh, integrated 8616 Garmin in the flush mount panel, which they gave this nice, almost metal treatment to it this year. Uh, the Fusion, what, 750, the newer one, and then all these bokeh switches that are nice and flushed into uh, the panel. Uh, but the exciting thing is the new Helm Master stuff, the new EX which uh you know the binnacle you can add the joystick even with a single engine now and get like the stay point feature so you can use it for anchoring so you're not having to you know spend money on a trolling motor if you don't want to uh although i do recommend you know rodan or minko to make great product um this one we did equip with the autopilot because using the new Hellmaster ex stuff it uh, integrates right in the system and it's fairly inexpensive um and while we're here i'll show you the price sheet because everybody always asks what is the price and you can see the options we added to it so uh, jack plate, the hull color, T-top rocket launcher. We painted the underside of the hard top, and then we added the Edson wheel, which, believe it or not, is a thousand-dollar option. And then uh, the upholstery. Uh, or I'm sorry, those are the console covers. The upholstery standard on this one. So total MSRP is one eighty-five sixty-five. Check with your local dealers for what they would be selling it for, because most do sell under that price. Another new item. Get it in frame. There is the new. Uh, CL5 so pretty much uh, same as the CL7 gauge uh, just a little bit smaller um, nice clean look to it uh, Garmin 215 with remote mic and we'll go into the head console here real quick so you can see the inside pretty deep we've been doing these mostly with porta potties just because we figured this is gonna be more of a fishing boat battery switch you can get to your electronics there and up here this pad comes down for more rigging access but pretty deep for, you know, quote unquote, a, a bay or a hybrid boat. Uh, the front is amazing. So like a traditional bay boat, you have this huge casting deck, uh, which also we have some cushions for. So you can, you know, these pop up as backrests. So you can use it for lounging. And then uh, some pretty hardcore fishing too. I mean, like I said, the boat does great in a, a real decent sea state we had it out in the river and, and probably one to three foot close period wind swell and it felt just like the 26 center console just cutting through it uh, and then down into the macerated fish box which is huge I'm not a big person but I can definitely curl up in there smuggle somebody out of Cuba or something coming into these side boxes you got rod storage and they are insulated as well they, they're not macerated but they do drain overboard so you don't have to worry about fish going into the bilge or anything like that um, insulation is just that foam so it's nothing substantial at least I think they're insulated <clears throat> and then the forward storage pretty decent in here too Anchor locker, hopefully you'll never need that. Nice and deep, fit plenty of road in there. At least to a trolling motor up front, which you can see the bright line on here, the cutout, so that it's made for a quick release. There's a nice big hard top, plenty of weather protection. This is, I think, one of the last we're getting for 2021. Uh, we've got one more coming in the spring, around March allocation pretty early this year as everyone has been going pretty crazy on boats but if you have any questions on this regulator 26 xo or any of the other boats we have on the lot here which you can see the supply is dwindling this is all we have currently we usually have 30 or 40 boats give us a call 904-644-7631 ask for brad or barton or you can always get us on the website at Yamaha Marine, JAX.com. Thanks, guys.